what's up y'all i'm here today to give you a book review on the coldest winter ever life after death after 15 years we get to reunite with our homegirl winter and i'm talking like this because the whole way through the book i've been getting this brooklyn vibe <laughs> probably because i listened to the audio of this one they don't have the audio of this one but they have the audio of this one but yeah so you know for all of those who read the coldest winter ever the first book about winter santiago i felt like when we was younger <clears throat> excuse my voice i'm sorry i felt like when we was younger and we read this book we kind of all pictured how winter would be and what her skin looked like and her lips and she was the coldest baddest bitch and i felt like when i was 14 i wanted to be like winter when she, the, th the thoughts that she had when she was that age like you know coming from that th i never came from a, a drug dealing family or anything but i could just imagine her life you know the things that she would say about her father the things that she would say about you know just everything in general was it was so when i look back on it now as a grown-ass adult i'm like oh my god it's so materialistic like i used to be geeked when she would be name dropping all these designer clothes and shit i'd be like oh shit let me look that up because i didn't know i would be probably considered one of the the bum bitches that she be talking about that's just pretty but don't know how to style and dress or something like that you know by the way shout out to my daughter because she did my makeup y'all know i'm be putting on makeup this year but you know shout out to my daughter my daughter does my makeup but anyway i wanted to get a little bit cute for the review because damn it it's worth it but <clears throat> like i said when, when we read this book when we were younger i felt like we all wanted in a way to be like winter i mean no we didn't want our face cut up and we didn't want like to be separated from our family and struggling living on the streets but her mindset I felt like a lot of us, a lot of women um, gravitated towards that. And we kind of idolized that a little bit, that she was like that. So, you know what happens at the end of this book. She gets locked up. So, this book takes place, was it 20 years? This book was wrote in 1999. Y'all do the math. But Sister Soldier decided, and look at the cover on this book. Can y'all see that? The cover on this motherfucker is it's cold look at that but yeah sister soldier she wanted to make it a point to when winter got locked up for us to think of it as if it was one of our friends or homegirls that got locked up you know we still go on about our lives and we still are living our life and you know they in jail and they life is the way that it is so this is a spoiler alert too because this is not just like i'm gonna do a general wrap up but it is kind of a spoiler alert on some stuff so if you haven't read the book i suggest that you go and read the first book or the second book but the really the way sister soldier did the writing in life after death you can read them backwards it's almost like a kendrick lamar album you can read it backwards and read it from the beginning to end and still go it, it goes great and I'm saying that because I feel like a lot of people, um, yes, she probably set it up for Winter to have this kind of revenge on Bullet and Simone, the bitch that, that sliced her in the face. But Sister took it to another level when she did this. You know what I'm saying? You have to be on a God level to understand the way she was breaking this down in this book, Life After Death. It is nothing like how I thought it would be. And just dealing with all the things that's uh, going on in my personal life with me losing my mother-in-law and watching our family go through these things, like it makes you think about the afterlife. So the fact that that book came out and that I'm reading it and I'm looking at these things and it's like a mirror to yourself. That's what I feel like the outcome was supposed to be because I feel like sister felt like um, when we read The Coldest Winter Ever, that really gave birth to a lot of 
Cardi B's and city girls and this whole mentality of just money and things and you know what I'm saying all of these material bullshit that means nothing when you're thinking of it on a higher level so um y'all stay tuned I'm gonna give y'all part two I, I just want to get y'all a little warmed up for what this review is getting ready to be because the way she spent this this is on some like to me, as a writer, because I write too, this is like Stephen King meets, you know what I'm saying? It's like a mixture of both. She's taking you to different realms and things, but I, 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 I'm I, not about to tell you the whole thing. You're going to have to wait for part two for that, but I just wanted to get y'all caught up. So hold on just a minute and I'll be right back and we're going to digest everything that is life after death, the coldest winner ever by Sister Soldier. So stay tuned. <laughs>